Welcome to the April 11th, 2024 Parma City School District Board of Education meeting. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for all citizens, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please, Mr. Lucio. Ms. Kohart. Here. Ms. Kirkpatrick. Here. Ms. McTaggart. Here. Mr. Rudolph. Present. Mr. Vaughn. Present. Ms. Dr. Smiley, can you please confirm that the meeting is currently being live streamed? Yes, it is. Can you please monitor the live streaming throughout the process, or throughout the meeting, and if there's, <clears throat> excuse me, a problem, please speak up immediately so that the technical difficulty can be addressed. Yes, we will. And uh, Board President Rudolph, would you mind if we did the pledge again? Because we do have some students here to lead us in the pledge. I do not mind if we do that. Should we get Do you want to come up? Ms. Carabanos? We did have somebody come we up. We do, actually, and I apologize for overlooking that. Let's do it again. I mean, these guys are adorable, so if we could. Oh, guys and times again? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, you tell want me? to introduce your, your, your sure. folks? And I have two boys with me from John Muir, and we were here um, for guys with ties, so we were going to say the pleasure of leaving. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again so they can leave. Please stand. One more time. All right, guys, go ahead. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. My apologies. No, that's all just Mr. That's fine. All of this will take us to Barbara Proud, Dr. Smiley. Well, we have just a wide number of folks to recognize tonight for their outstanding contributions and accomplishments in our Parma City Schools. And the first folks are going to be some great Parma Proud staff members from <coughs> Densler. Uh, Mr. Rudolph, if you want to come up and we'll call the teachers up one by one and read some nice things about them. Um, we use Parma Proud as an opportunity to highlight some excellence. Uh, anybody actually in our district has the opportunity to nominate somebody, and we're very uh, grateful tonight to Melissa Maines Grem, who is here, if you can wave, Melissa. Uh, she works with this group of teachers, and she's been so impressed that she wanted to take her own time uh, to nominate them, and we're very grateful that they were able to join us tonight. Uh, teachers, if you can come up one by one as we finish reading about you, and then we'll, we'll take a picture at the end. Dana Mudra is first. One up, Dana. She is a great teacher, works well with all students to keep them engaged and motivated for learning. As a co-worker, she's supportive and helpful in all areas. Congratulations, Dana Mudra. Thank you. Michelle Bender, being a great teacher, motivating and engaging students in their learning. As a co-worker, she's supportive and helpful in all areas. Laura Smith, for giving her all with students and co-workers, being supportive and helpful, engaging and motivating students to continue to learn. Christy Malone, for being a supportive, helpful co-worker, for engaging her students and motivating them and learning. She is a great teacher. And Candy Graves, I believe, there she is. Her dedication is a one-to-one -to, -one to her student and for being a great co-worker. Support and motivating always has a smile on her face. Congratulations to this outstanding team of teachers from Densler Elementary. Congratulations, ladies. Thank you. Melissa, again, thank you for, for taking the time. That was, that was great that you were able to recognize them. Oh, you're them. welcome. Yeah, they impress me every day with what they do and their care for the students. All right. Next, we're going to call our academic challenge team from Valley Forge up. We have some academic challenge team members, and I know. Are you ready? Come on up. Come on up. Are you going to represent the whole team? I guess um, I haven't seen the rest of them yet. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. There's two. So congratulations to Valley Forge. Um, we, we, we hold on to these. 
because they're obviously being aired, but they did air a couple weeks ago, and Valley Forge was able to beat both Avon and Illyria in their weekly competition. We're very proud of Congratulations to Garrett Miller, Isaac Rep, and Billy Jobes, and advisors Monica Simonella and Tim Boyd. A very proud Valley Forge, very public display of outstanding accomplishments from our Parma schools on Channel 5. Great job. Okay, let's get a picture with Mr. Thanks, Mr. Thanks, Mr. Mr. Perfect. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Valley Forge. <laughs> Next, we have our culinary arts students from Normandy. And this seems like an annual sort of celebration of their outstanding program and their excellence in the culinary cuisine uh, uh, arts. And we have Christy Gibbons, who's going to speak a little bit about the competition and your awards that you were able to, to receive. Um, on this culinary team, we have Samantha Bielstein, um, Bielstein, I'm sorry, I got it right. Uh, Jordan Mitchell, Madison Hedrick, Abigail Basinger, and Danny Hoffman. Um, two of our seniors were on our team from last year who won state. So we went down um, in March to compete against 17 other culinary programs um, in the state. And they took first again for the second year in a row. And we are off to nationals at the end of um, April to go to Baltimore, Maryland to compete against 52 uh, states and territories. So. Christy, come on to the picture. You got to oh, be in the I'm picture. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. And thank you to, to, to Christy as well for her outstanding leadership. Oh, another one. Thank you. Thank you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We have some conference championship swimmers. We're very proud of our academic pursuits, but we are also very proud of our student athletes. And tonight, uh, to help us recognize our Normandy conference champion swimmers is Coach Chad Nance. All right, uh, hello everyone. Um, I'm Coach Chad. Uh, this is my first year of Normandy. Um, we have four gentlemen here tonight uh, that were first team all conference for us. Uh, first is freshman Blake Caldwell. Uh, Blake won the uh, 100 backstroke 200 AM and was part of the 200 medley relay, 200 freestyle relay that took first place. Uh, second, Nathan Dusick, one of our senior team captains. Uh, Nate was also part of the 200 medley relay and the 200 free relay. Uh, thirdly is Alex Pearson, another one of our senior captains for the 200 medley, 200 free relay. And uh, finally, senior captain Alex Cuckoo. Alex was the GLC swimmer of the year. Uh, he sets uh, three school records, I'm sorry, three meet records at the GLCs. Uh, went into 100 breaststroke, 50 breaststroke, uh, 200 medley relay, which was a record setting relay, 200 free relay. Uh, and he also was a uh, State qualifier finished fourth in the state. Uh, he was all Ohio in the 100 breaststroke and all American, uh, 14th in the 50 freestyle. And this was his fourth trip to the state tournament. Uh, and Alex will be swimming at CSU next year. So these are our uh, conference champions. Congratulations. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Coach, thank you very much. Congratulations to you as well. Thank you. Thank you. And finally, we have several wrestlers from Normandy. And to help us recognize them, Coach D. Giovanni, come on up, sir. Hello, hello. Thanks for, Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Um, I'm here to recognize James Moore, aka Big Game James. <laughs> Come on up, man. Uh, James is a sophomore. Um, he was our 215 pounder this year. Recognized as the GLC Conference champion. He finished with a record of 38 and 11. He's a district qualifier. Um, second year letterman. He's also got a cumulative GPA of 3.5. So he's getting it done everywhere. 
Um, he's continuing his off-season work. He's already getting into football. He's wrestling for the club teams in the evenings already. So big leadership opportunities for him in the future, and we can't wait to see what he uh, you know, has in store for us. So James, congrats, man. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't you last you want to come on up to? It's Coach Alaska of the girls wrestling program from Normandy. Uh, tonight I'd like to recognize uh, Brooklyn Madal. Uh, Brooklyn is a junior here at Normandy High School. Uh, she was a captain on our team. Um, she solidified herself as one of the top 16 wrestlers in the state of Ohio for her weight class, which was 120 pounds. Uh, Brooklyn is the first ever female wrestler for Normandy High School to qualify for the OHSAA state tournament. Finished her season 42 and 10 on the year, uh, 28 pins, which tied for first place um, on the team. She also had the most reversals on the team, and we are really excited to see Brooklyn going into her senior year, already leading the pack, um, doing the off-season work. So, really excited for Brooklyn and the next step for her. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm sure you didn't. No, you're good. You're good. Thank you. Awesome job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, friends, this concludes our Parma Proud piece. Now, we'll call Mrs. Marconi up for a second, but while she gets her presentation set up for her resilient learners, our Parma Proud winners, now is a great time to depart. You're welcome to stay, but we're sure you have other obligations. So thank you very much, and congratulations again. Come on up, Isaac. We'll get a picture with you, too. Yeah, we got it. Can we take All right, thanks, Billy. Well, yeah, we got Isaac. Mr. Tibbetts, can you get another picture? Isaac came, our third academic challenge. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you. Very late in the night. Perfect. Thank you so much. Great job. Great job. Okay. You guys are good. Oh, I'm sorry. There was another one. Sorry. Thank you. you look very nice. Thanks for dressing. Uh, yeah, wait, one more. One more. Oh, one more. No problem. <laughs> Thank you. Be here all night. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. Good job, guys. Yay. Next, we recognize uh, Mrs. Marconi from Green Valley, uh, our esteemed principal of Green Valley Elementary School. She is here tonight to recognize the resilient award winners from Green Valley Elementary School. And we give the floor to Mrs. Marconi. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Smilek, and thank you, board, for having me here today and the opportunity to um, recognize our families. So I'm Jackie Marconi, principal of Green Valley, and I am here to present resilient uh, awards for our families from Green Valley. When we learn how to become resilient, we learn how to embrace beautiful, broad spectrum of human experience. And that's what we have tonight, a representation of that. One really wise grandparent reminded me that it takes a village to raise a child. I want to honor our Green Valley families who stepped up and stepped in to care for their grandchildren and adopt other children. Our first family was not able to make it tonight unless they're coming in right now. Oh, I do have them here, I'm sorry. I have Addison Hope and the Clay family, if you'd like to come up and stand while I talk about you. Addison is a first grader at Green Valley. She has the support of grandparents of Cliff and Carol Clay, AKA Papa and Nana. Her siblings are Toriana and Brianna. 
Mrs. Clegg shared with us, Cliff had a daughter when we met. We had two daughters together. So we already had a blended family from the beginning. But in 2018, his daughter passed away. Addie, who was her daughter, came to live with us. She was 18 months old. At that time, our youngest daughter was 14. So that was a total life transition, but we welcomed it. We love being able to experience so many firsts with Addie. We feel blessed to contribute daily to her growth, accomplishments, and honor, and give her different opportunities that she may not have had otherwise. Addie shared, Nana and Papa are the best helpers. They hug me, kiss me, and they love me a lot. Congratulations, and thank you for being amazing. Big smiles. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Our next family is Carter and Olivia Holmes and the Gill family. They're not here tonight, and we apologize for that, but Carter broke his arm last night. Oh. Yeah. So he's recovering, but I still want to honor them and the fact that they have taken in their grandchildren. Carter and the, uh, Mrs. Gill shared, Carter and Olivia made our home complete. Can tell, I can't even tell you the happiness and joy that they bring me every day. I love watching them learn new things and grow. It's a blessing having them in my life. Life wouldn't be the same without them. Olivia, who's in first grade, shared, what's great about her mom? She's nice, she's calm. She's patient with me. And if I leave a mess, she helps me clean it up. When Olivia grows up, she wants to be a fourth grade teacher because it has less stress than a kindergarten teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Carter shared what's special about his mom and papa. His mom always reminds him because he forgets a lot, and he does. But they help him put everything together, get his stuff put away, and his mom is great at beating the video game. She's a mean gamer. So congratulations to the Holmes and Gill family. Next, I'd like to ask Briel Overby and Mrs. Perhaps, along with Brooklyn, to come on up. Supportive grandparent Judy Perhaps has raised Randy, Alex, and Brooklyn, and along with Briel. Mrs. Perhaps shared. I'm a grandmother of 11 grandchildren. I dedicated my whole life to five of my grandchildren to give them each a safe, loving home to grow and learn. They know they are always protected, safe, and happy. Even though we had a lot of life's ups and downs, they're a blessing in my life. I know I am always, they know I am always here for them, and they always have a home with grandma. Brielle shared with me, Ms. Perhex, that Grandma helps her with her homework, and she always has a snack for school. She makes sure that we are always ready for school and we have everything we need. My grandma is very caring. She does a lot for her grandkids, and she raised a lot of us. <laughs> so thank you, and congratulations. Perfect, thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Our next group of uh, students were able to make it. Mom is working tonight, so she let me know that she had working commitments. But it's Jonathan Armani and Eric Hutchinson and the Hutchinson family. Support of grandparents and parents, Shauna Hutchinson as mom, working tonight, Anita and Robert Hutchinson, AKA Gma and Papa, and also Aunt Tilly. The siblings of Jonathan Armani and Eric is Miles. He's a future GV Sprout, so we're looking forward to that. Mrs. Hutchinson shared, the children are the most important focus of our family. We love, laugh, care deeply for each other in everything we do. Jonathan, who is a fourth grader, shared that my papa helps me, he shows me how to do chores. He also said that I love it when my mom makes pancakes and G-Ma makes eggs. Armani is in first grade. She shared that they help us with our homework, but she doesn't need it. She's gonna be a doctor when she grows up. <laughs> And Eric, our kindergartner, shared my family is special because they love us all the time. Congratulations to the Hutchinson family. All right, Mason, come on down. Mason Lally and the Mossback family, come on down. 
supportive grandparents, Gerald and Tammy Mossback, AKA Nana and Papa. Dad is James, stepmom Chantel is here, AKA TT. Aunt Patricia is on her way. I mean, I'm here, yay! Yeah. <laughs> Good, we held off all long enough. And that's Aunt with Peen is what they call her. Both Chantel and Aunt Peen have taken on the role more times than anyone can count. They both show Mason the true unconditional love and affection that mother, a mother would show. The siblings Cameron and Peyton, who are a little bit older, are very protective of their little brother. Mrs. Mossback, our very wise uh, uh, grandmother, has says it takes a village in today's world, you're right, which is a perfect saying to describe your family. Mason doesn't have your typical family dynamics at home. Some could say it's unfortunate that his child's from a broken home, but it wouldn't take much to realize they couldn't be the furthest from the truth. Nothing about Mason's village or family is broken. It's actually a family with a strong foundation made of multiple people that have each stepped it up and in to support Mason in many different ways. They give him love, they give him guidance and support that any child would ever need to become, would, any child needs to become the best version of himself. Sometimes it sounds crazy, but it's really true how he's a little melting pot of everyone in his family. Mason is an exceptional young man, he's funny, He's brave, adventurous, witty, loving, athletic, and beyond persistent. We all know that. So Mason shared about you, not a, a grandpa. You're nice, you're pretty chill. Because <laughs> you don't get mad. <laughs> they support me a lot. Grandpa loves helping with sports. Nada is great to help with school projects, and she is. She's your go-to. Mason wants to be a professional baseball player and play for the Guardians, and I hope you do one day. Congratulations. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. And lastly, I have Liliana Step and the Farmer family, support supportive great grandparents, our Brenda and Larry Farmer. They could not make it tonight. Um, Liliana calls them Mama and Papa. She has a sibling, River, two years old, a future green uh, GB sprout. Mrs. Farmer shared she's always wanted Liliana and loves her unconditionally. They brought her into their home as their own to love and to care for her. They want her to feel safe and she is special to Mom and Papa. Liliana shared my favorite thing about Mom and Papa is that he, they take good care of me and my cousin River. Mama and Papa are good at, or Papa's good at fixing things. He takes, um, fixed her tires on her bike. Liliana wants to become a music teacher when she grows up and she has quite a bit of talent and I hope she does. That concludes my presentation, but there's another excuse me, wise grandparents that I quoted. People tell us all the time how we're so amazing, how others would not have taken on such a task. But to us, this is this child is family, and that's just what we do. Thank you, and I appreciate your time. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Marconi, and thank you so much to our families for coming. Thank you for all of the wonderful support that you provide for our students. We're very grateful uh, that you have provided such love and structure and all of the things that they need to succeed. So now is a socially appropriate time to leave. You are more than welcome to depart. You're also welcome to stay if you would like for our meeting, but it is a business meeting from this point forward. So thank you again. All right, and we have an art show happening over Green Valley, so it finishes at 7.30. More than welcome to come. Right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks again. Well, um, all right, well, that'll take us to right back to you for information to the board. And the only thing I have tonight um, is just an update on strategic planning. You know, you kind of make that splash with um, all the different community groups that we've met with. And uh, we do have a work session scheduled with the board for April 25th. And we uh, really invite people to, to watch as well. Um, the impact group that had run the focus groups will uh, present so, sort of a draft of, of action steps and objectives that they've gleaned from 
uh, our district. And we've done really a deep dive into the participants' responses and the feedback that we've received, and we're really excited to see what they've come out with. So it is a work session, which means it's open to the public, it will be streamed as well, and that is on April 25th, <coughs> and we look forward to that. Thank you. Take us to communications. <coughs> you have anything, Sean? Yes, I do. Um, let's be pulled up, please. <coughs> So Governor DeWine, about four or five years ago, came up with new money he wants to use for student wellness and success. <coughs> Excuse me. And, he, and it's supposed to be put in a state fund, which is Fund 467. And he said there's no, there's no deadline. You can use it whenever. There's no rules. Just spend it on health and wellness. Of course, they change all the rules and say, now there are rules, and you got to use it by June 30th, 2025, here are the new rules. So I put that up there. This is just copy and paste from the DW website, used to be ODE. Um, so you gotta put it up there. It's gotta be used for different physical and mental health services. You gotta post this on our website for 30 days and then we can spend the money. So I'm just kind of jumping through hoops doing this. Can you go to the next slide? So we said we have to use community partners, and these are some of the community partners we do we use: um, Guidestone, Mindfully, Avalon, and the Educational Service Center. The things Dr. Smiley could tell you more of what these services do, but these are our partners. And so we'll go to the next slide. And so what we want to use the money for is our nursing services. Six hundred forty-eight thousand of the 651,000 we have in the fund that's remaining, we're used just to pay for the general fund, pays it now, and the, this fund will pay it, so it frees up more money in the general fund, makes the fund balance it better. But we also wanted to spend $3,000 on leadership academies for both high schools. So this is transportation to the academies for both high schools. So, any questions on this? No. no, I love how government does that. Where no rules, and then oh, by the way, here's the rules. They like giving us the money and then telling us what the rules are, then going back and saying we well, didn't follow the rules. <laughs> you give us the money before you post the rules. Can I, can I comment, Mr. Sure. Yeah, of course. I just I want to thank uh, Mr. Nucio and also Ms. Plagiman had uh, her her. Uh, input in this as well, and I just think it, it's really a, a strategic use of this money because anytime we can offset expenses that come from the general fund, that's always, you know, that benefit uh, to Parma taxpayers. It means that, you know, hopefully we can continue to, to uh, push a deficit off or at least lower deficit that right now is projected for 2027. And these are necessary costs. I mean, nursing in our schools is not an extravagant, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> Well, saliva. <coughs> Nursing is not an extravagant cost. <clears throat> it is a necessity for our students and our children. So <clears throat> anytime we cannot spend general fund, fund money on something like that, it behooves us. So thank you, Mr. Nucio. I thought it was a really, really good use of the money. Thank you. Board members. members. Um, well, <coughs> yeah, a couple of things. Um, the uh, Parma Council of PTAs had a uh, their annual spring dinner last night. I wanted to thank them for doing that and for allowing us to attend. It was nice. Congratulations to the award winners <laughs> and the incoming officers. And their geranium sale is closes on April 14th. Sunday. It's this Sunday, April 14th. So um, you can either go to the district website to get a link to their um, web page, or you can email them at ParmaCouncilPTA at gmail.com if you would like to purchase one before it ends. And I have one other thing, we forgot to mention in our last meeting about the Easter egg hunt that we did at Byers Field. Steve and I forgot about mentioning it because we weren't there. I mean, Clifford and the Easter Bunny were there, but Steve and I weren't there. So I wanted to, uh, Thank all the volunteers. It, it ended up snowing that morning, and the uh, maintenance yeah, crew came here. out and they cleared it to make sure that everything went off. And uh, do you remember how many how many eggs and stuff? Do you uh, we started with actually about uh, forty thousand eggs. We we did not end up using them all because it's a smaller crowd because of weather. But it started with forty thousand. Forty thousand. But uh, it was still a good turnout, and thanks to everybody that helped put that on. No, I just want, I just want to mention our crack uh, custodial staff that went out and plowed the field. 
and they got everything plowed out of the way, even in the walking areas. So they just, they're not doing very well. but, uh, I did. I did thank them on that day, but I wanted to make sure it happened in public. Yes. Well, I think the Easter. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I just wanted to um, give an update on the resolution we passed about the desks that we were going to be selling at a very um, inexpensive cost to our community. We had 200 of them, and all 200 were reserved. So that's really exciting. We're going to get those all out to the community, and they will be picked up Saturday at Byers Field. Also next weekend, we have a couple things going on in the district. Uh, Valley Forge has their play a Chorus Line Teen Edition that is going to be April 19th, 20th, and 21st. And on the um, on April 19th from 4 to 7, we are having a Senior Citizen Prom that's going to be going on at Normandy. So a couple of fun things to look forward to with the community. Thank you. That's all I have. Anybody else? That's it. All right, well then that'll move us on to, <clears throat> we have no, Thanks. We have no request for comments or anything. So um, I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-141, approval of the written records of proceedings from the March 28, 2024 regular special board of education meetings. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-141. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Mr. Rudolph. Yes. Mrs. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kohart. Yes. Ms. Kirkwood. Yes. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Um, resolution 2024-04-141 has been approved. That will take us to business, which we have nothing for business uh, tonight. So we can go directly into curriculum, Mr. Vaughn. Thank you, Mr. Rudolph. You're welcome. I uh, move to adopt resolution 2024-04-142, approval of uh, approval to enter into a contract between the Career and Technical Education Job Training Experiential Learning Program of the Parma City School District and the City of Parma Parks and Recreation Department. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-142. Any questions or comments from the board? Um, I just had a comment. Um, I was not sure what this was at first, but this is actually a really cool partnership that we have with the city. It's with the PACS program to do job training with the Parks and uh, Recreation Department. So I thought that was a really nice thing that we were doing with the city here. I agree. Thank you. Anyone else? All right. Roll call, please. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Ms. Kirpik. Yes. Ms. Kohar. Yes. Ms. McTaggart. Yes. Mr. Rudolph. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-142 has been approved. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-143, approval of Effective Leadership Academy, ELA, materials for the summer school program. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-143. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Ms. Kirkman. Yes. Ms. Kohar. Yes. Mr. McTaggart. Yes. Mr. Rudolph. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-143 has been approved. Unless uh, anybody else has anything to discuss in curriculum, this will conclude curriculum for this evening. Thank you, Mr. Vaughn. We are going to stick with you for finance. All right, back to finance. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-144, accepting the amounts and the rates as determined by the Budget Commission and author authorizing the necessary tax levies and certifying them to the county fiscal officer. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-144. Any questions or comments from the board? Can I comment on this? Of course it's you can. a very long Absolutely. title. All it really is saying is the budget commission set our millage rates at whatever it is for our, all our levies, and we're approving what they told us the rates are. Very good. So long, we do it every April, and it's just yeah. a procedural thing. All right, anyone? All right, uh, roll call, please. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Mrs. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kohart. Yes. Ms. Kirkland. Yes. Mr. Rudolph. Yes. <laughs> Resolution 2024-04-144 has been approved. I move to adopt Resolution 2024-04-145, ratification of investments. 
Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-145. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Ms. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kohart. Yes. Ms. Kirpik. Yes. Mr. Rudolph. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-145 has been approved. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-146, approval of supplemental appropriations. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-146. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Mrs. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kovar. Yes. Ms. Kirpik. Yes. Mr. Ruda. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-146 has been approved. Unless uh, any other member has something to discuss about uh, finance, this will conclude finance for this evening. Thank you, Mr. Vaughn. We'll move this to legislation. We have nothing tonight for legislation. Thank you, uh, Ms. Kohar. That'll take us to Human Resources, Ms. McTaggart. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-147. Approval of the following certificated exhibits, confirmation of certificated replacements, acceptance of certificated resignations. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-147. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Mrs. McTaggart. Yes. Mrs. Kirkwood. Yes. Ms. Kohar. Yes. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Mr. Rudolph. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-147 has been approved. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-148. Recommendation for continuing contracts 2024 through 2025. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-148. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Ms. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kirkwood. Yes. Ms. Kohar. Yes. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Mr. Ruda. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-148 has been approved. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-149. Approval of the following classified exhibits. Confirmation of classified appointments. Confirmation of classified changes of assignments. Confirmation of classified replacements. Approval of non-compensated leaves of absence. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-149. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Mrs. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kirkwood. Yes. Ms. Kohar. Yes. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Mr. Ruda. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-149 has been approved. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-150. Acceptance of classified retirements. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-150. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Ms. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kirkwood. Yes. Ms. Kohar. Yes. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Mr. Ruda. Yes. Resolution 2024-04-150 has been approved. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-151. Acceptance of classified administrators, re administrators retirements. Second. We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-151. Any questions or comments from the board? Comment. <clears throat> uh, assuming you'll accept the retirement, but Deb, Deb has run our EDC uh, extended uh, child care and um, just an absolute class act. Uh, stepped in a couple of years ago uh, when we had a, the, the previous director retire and just never missed to be um, really a very pleasant uh, employee to work with, and we will certainly miss her. We'll recognize her on, on down the line, but um, as you Contemplate re uh, t accepting her retirement tonight. I certainly wanted to say some words because she's been she's been a great a great employee for a good amount of time for us. Does that mean if we all won't know that she has to stay working? It does not. It would just be a really awkward you know sort of existence for everybody. All right. Thank you. Roll call, please. Mrs. McTaggart. Yes. Ms. Kirkwood. Yes. Ms. Kohar. Yes. Mr. Vaughn. Yes. Ms. <coughs> yes. Resolution 2024-04-151 has been approved. I move to adopt resolution 2024-04-152, authorization to release from employment during probationary period classified employees. Second. 
We have a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-152. Any questions or comments from the board? Seeing none, roll call please. Mrs. McTaggart? Yes. Ms. Kirby? Yes. Ms. Kohar? Yes. Mr. Vaughn? Yes. Mr. Rudy? Yes. Resolution 2024-04-152 has been approved. Unless any other board member has anything to discuss, that concludes human resources. Thank you, Mrs. McTaggart. We normally take us to policies, but we have none this evening. So we go to, at this point, we open the meeting the public uh, for the public to address the board with comments or, or concerns, and we have no requests tonight. So that will take us right into move to adopt resolution 2024-04-154 yeah 154 to adjourn this meeting huh? go ahead give me a second second oh. um, i have a second and a, a motion and a second to adopt resolution 2024-04-154 any questions or comments from the board roll call please mr Rudo. yes mr mctaggart Yes. Ms. Kohar? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Mr. Vaughn? Yes. The meeting is adjourned. Oh. Oh, come on. I'm surprised nobody said 645. I said 645.